Because we got where we Our live. Local we ones have, aren't great. Yeah, they aren't great, and we have a Golden Corral if you really want to go to a buffet out here. Okay, but um. Uh, I was in my head. I was like, it always says you need a child to get." In. <laughs> and that was the. And my uh, fat was like, "Oh, well." He was like, "Cause I, I didn't have any questions because I woke up late and I didn't get the ping, but the, I had questions, but not enough. So I, I looked and I was like, "Wait, he's in a Chuck E. Cheese with his friends, booming. Like, what is?" And then I just saw it. I was like, "Oh, I need to ask him how did he get in the Chuck E. Cheese? Like, you just asked for the buffet? What? Hold on, hold on. I, I'm gonna have to do that." I'm, I'm gonna have to go go to the buffet, but um, oh yeah, the buffet's uh seven dollars six ninety nine. Uh, That's all, it. All, all you can eat pizza, uh, all you can eat salad, and then you gotta pay for the drink. Wow, wow, wow! That, I'm gonna have to go back to Chuck E. Cheese and relive my old days of man. But okay, is there a reason you guys chose Chuck E. Cheese or like? Uh yeah, mm-hmm. it was it was up the street from my apartment at the time, so they, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was like no gas money really, just just all right, all right, we're gonna about to pull up the Chuck E. Cheese. All right, that's that man. Yeah, and like all my friends were just like, dude, they're not gonna let us in, and I was like, dude, all we gotta do is go to the buffet and just eat a little bit, just so we you know we just ate, picked out for like twenty minutes. And then, like, there's these kids having a birthday party, so Chucky came out to do, like, a little saw dance. That. I saw yeah. that. <laughs> so, like, so when I saw that, I was like, all right, now's our time. Now's our time. Go chill so, up. <laughs> so my friend just pulled out his cam, and we just started dancing around. And, like, the birthday party just started acting as if we were part of the birthday. So I think that's kind of <laughs> how it happened. Like, the employees of Chucky what? Cheese were like, Oh, they thought you were with them. Right, right. And the and, and the kids started, you know, like dancing with us. So they're like, all right, cool. Parents just didn't say, oh, wow. That's, parents didn't hmm. say anything. That's kind of, <laughs> that's poor parenting. God. Horrible parenting. <laughs> there were like six of you guys, it looked like? Five? Uh, How many were you? I believe there's four. Or four? Five, four or five, yeah. And I saw y'all, y'all were just like around people. I was like, wait, did the parents not say anything? Like, uh, they just... <laughs> Men just walking around dancing with Chuck E. Cheese at my child's br- bro. <laughs> hey, I, I wish I was that lucky. I wish. Hey, you never know until you try, man. That is true. That I, in my group, in our friend group, I'm more the most vocal one to do something stupid. Okay. But um, more recently, I haven't done anything stupid, which is a good thing because got in trouble. But uh, <laughs> uh, I've done tons of stupid stuff in my life. Tons. So like that, that was probably on. That's probably one of the lower levels too with things I've done in public. Actually. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll tell you later. I can't say it on a podcast. But I'll tell you later <laughs> things that I've done. But um, man, uh, right now like it's because of school. Can't really do anything stupid because we're in our junior year. Well, I'm uh, fine. Are in our junior year, and uh, you know I've got to focus up on school. But next year, oh, it's it's buffoonery happening. Buffoonery, right. all. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, and you got I have more questions, but like, I, I'm I'm taking up the time right now, so y'all can y'all can go. So, what is your um, for lack of better wording here, what what is your music making process? I already I was in your comment section, and you you explained how you made the fried chicken song, but is that just your your general music making process? You just kind of say whatever comes to mind. Oh yeah, man! I normally just uh, find a beat. Um, kind of hear it a few times. I'll say I'll say some random stuff on the beat, just really random, and whatever ends up making me laugh, or whatever ends up making me feel warm inside, or whatever just makes me feel good, I go with that, and then I kind of just go from there. So I don't really, I don't ever really have a a, a song in mind before I start recording. I kind of just let the beat play out and record from there. Yeah. So like on the fried chicken song, I was hungry and I wanted some fried chicken when I heard the beat. So I started rapping about it. See, for me, it'd probably be a Taco Bell song because I've been craving taco. Every Friday, I usually get Taco Bell. And like for a month now or more, I haven't been able to have Taco Bell. So it hurts. Me and and Zaya went to the movies last year. And as we're we're walking out, he he just went to the Taco Bell and got like seven tacos. No, I got 12. Yeah, no, 12, I, get, okay. I get 12 tacos. I get a party pack of 12 tacos. That is a Friday thing for me, and it's one of the joys of my life. One you of eat these... them all on the curb. <laughs> like, 
Um, I, I dropped them once, and I genuinely had a whole bad week after that. I was I just lost all of my tacos, and this is, man, it hurt me. So this but, is, um, it's a question I've been meaning to ask um, for a while. You've probably answered it, I just haven't seen it. Um, have you seen the, the Carson video where, where fried chicken was featured? Uh, the Call Me no, Car video. I have not. All right, I'll, um... I'll send you that at some point. I don't know after the podcast. I'll, I'll send well, it now. Can, we, but, can um, we just have him react to it right now? Sure, that's fine. I mean, yeah. uh, okay. Let me give you a backstory on Call Me Carson. He <laughs> he's he's um he's like a a meme YouTuber, but a wholesome guy at the same time. Okay. So he, like he has like dr- like I wouldn't say dry humor. I don't like him, but uh, he he he's funny at sometimes, but it's like forced. It feels like and dry. But I guess he, he he does a lot of memes. I don't know how he finds his memes, but he I guess he he found your video somehow and put it in. Which yeah. Was, what what happened was. He and his uh, friend Jay Schlatt, they did a they did a live stream of, of Minecraft and they made each other texture packs. Um but you can change a lot more than textures for that. You can change the like the menu audio. And uh Jay Schlatt's texture pack for Call Me Carson included fried chicken. Um I sent it over to Instagram because I don't have your Discord or anything. Uh, but that's the clip there where, where you discovered it. So okay. I don't know I don't know if you you probably had people in your chat before asking, like, have you seen the Carson video and stuff, but that's the clip that um, I think that there was a giant boost in views um, on that song right after that video because people were trying to find it. Um, well, originally, uh, Pay Money Wubby found the song on SoundCloud, like on one of my on, on one of my troll SoundCloud pages, and he oh, wow. made a video. And then a bunch of other YouTubers started using the song in their in their videos, probably Carson as well. But it first blew up from uh, Pay Money Wubby finding it on SoundCloud and being like, who made this song? And then finally, because I didn't even have a Discord at that time. So I guess like his friends reached out to me. He was like, yo, Pay Money Wubby's playing your song. Like, is this you? I was like, yeah. And he's like, I bet. So then they finally like added my information. Channel, sick, link to YouTube.com. But uh, no, I don't know who Carson is actually, but... He's a pretty. He's a really big YouTuber. He he just got popular over the past year, year and a half. Okay. And he has. I think he had a million subs like like in a, within a year of him. Like, yeah. Doing no. YouTube. He did a, he did a series called SMP Live where um you had the it, 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 SMP is essentially just like a multiplayer survival Minecraft server thing. But um they they added their own meme flair to it. It was pretty yeah. much just a lot of shitty memes. Um. Like, I don't know if you know Shroud, the uh, esports dealer. I don't even know who plays, but he's I, a robot, basically. They would just, just have random images of Shroud and uh, like spread around the map. It was just a big meme, but it it really blew up. Um, and because of that, he kind of blew up as well. Hey, is there any way I can like record my screen while talking at the same time? Uh, OBS? No, on Mumble. Like, is there oh any- no. Uh, no, I don't think so. See, this is why Discord could well not Discord. I don't think any you could you can import OBS file like have it in at the same time in the video, but it just entire be hard. reaction video. Because I was yeah. trying to I was trying to like post this podcast on my media's like with me actually talking, and then you guys oh. are responding. Uh, I don't think you could do that. I mean, I can send you for what it's worth. I can send you all the the audio files afterwards. Dude, that would be dope. That would be lit. Because right now I got it on Quicksilver, but I think it's only in, in, or inputting my audio. So, I don't know. Yeah, I can send you all the... Because they're all separate for, for tracks. I can get the audio files after. Oh, dope. Yeah, let's do that. But, uh, oh, Call Me Carson. Uh, scuff highlights. All right. Uh, PewDiePie actually did a reaction to... Uh, I saw really? that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, hey, yeah, that got my hey, attention. Hey, you hear his voice? You hear his voice? Oh, PewDiePie, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, like, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm on YouTube, but I'm not on YouTube like that. But when I heard PewDiePie, I was like, what? The original OG? Oh, my timer. That's crazy. <laughs> but, of course, he did it on the whole virgin thing. So, you know, I'm a virgin, 28-year-old virgin. Uh, <laughs> virgin till I die, you know? Check out my merch. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, well, the, the Virgin merch has just kind of sporadically appeared here. 
Hey, I mean, once once PewDiePie did that reaction video, I was like, oh, you, you run with it, dude. You gotta we gotta, we, 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 <laughs> gotta, gotta we gotta put up some merch. So I instantly did that, and then you know, like little twelve year olds was hitting me up, like, oh, this is a lit hoodie. Like I'm about to buy this. <laughs> oh my, like, oh okay, cool. So we just have you seen? Put, huh? Oh sorry, have you seen the uh, the the virginity rocks hoodies? Like, have you seen those that um that people have? Like, a lot of people have. I don't know. Who, a YouTuber has it, I guess. And it's called Virginity Rocks. And it's just like, a, like if you Google it, it's it's one of the funniest things. Like, kids in our school have it just just for the memes. And, oh. it, and they have so many. I, I oh, my God. And I'll tell my friends about yours. Hey, gotta... it's, the new, it's the new version way. <laughs> <laughs> just the pure meme. Just, what, like, some of my friends, I was like, bro, what are you wearing? He was like, hey. I'm repping it for the memes. <laughs> and oh my God. I love how meme culture is taking over, man. Like Yes. Yes, oh, I, I love I should have been born like ten years later. Cause I'm a meme in itself, but you know, I was one of the first memes before memes was memes. I was memeing before memes was a thing. Actually, you know what's crazy? Let's let's just talk about meme history real quick. In Metal Gear Solid 2, at the end of whatever that game, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2. He literally gives a whole speech about memes of the future, and he's point on. He's like, memes are like jeans. <laughs> he like gives a speech. He's like, memes are like jeans. You know, right now, we're just using jeans to pass on our footprint biologically, but in the future, they're going to be passing on ideas by way of memes. And I was just like, oh, and I remember that speech, and like now it's happening. So, shouts out Metal Gear. Yeah. Metal Gears. I haven't played Metal, Metal Gear. I, see, I wasn't allowed to play, like, um... All the old shooter games, unless I was with like my uncle, like it had to be either with my uncle or um, like I think the first game, like shooter game that I played, was either Brink, was which was at the same time I got Modern Warfare the first one, and then I got Black Ops one and Black Ops two. Those are the first Call of Duties that I played, and you can tell, like, that's when everyone got into it. I wish I was there for Modern Warfare 2. I wish I played Modern Warfare. Because I got, I got, I think because Modern Warfare 1 was so cheap, I got Modern Warfare 1 with my dad. And he was like, alright, we're not buying Modern Warfare 2 for some reason. And then, we, I just skipped Modern Warfare 2 all the way up until, like, now I have a PC to play it. Okay. I, w I wish I could just go back and just meme with everyone. Just the amount of just degeneracy in Modern Warfare Two, I love it. I don't. I don't know. That was that was my last. That was my last shooter game, bro. I quit after Modern Warfare Two. Really? You don't like you don't like Black Ops Two? Nah, after Modern Warfare Two, because that's when people started camping, and I, I was yeah. I, I like to do the double the the double wheel and just run around and shoot people, but people just started oh, camping. Oh, the dual wheeling? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, this is boring. So I quit. That was the last uh, shooter I bought. Man, don't buy Black Modern Warfare Five or no, Modern Warfare. Don't, Re uh, Modern don't Modern cause five. Well, it, it is basic Modern Warfare Five, but I don't know. It's it's like really, really, really key. Just one of the worst things I've ever dealt with. But I like multiplayer games, so I can't even complain. Like I keep going back to a game called Rainbow Six. Mm -hmm. Tom Clancy, bro. I played that game like like on like a like a not semi like professional, but he like he plays like, it on a religious basis. Pretty yeah, much. no, no, but I played for money, so oh yeah, no, I, I played legit. in competitiveness. So that's I played, legit. I played, um, for money, and I stopped playing now because uh, I, I genuinely every time I play that game, I almost I I just beat my desk just straight up. <laughs> it's so. I used to have a glass desk too. That's I used awesome. okay, okay. Um, there's a meme. I, I wish. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. There, goodness. It, it's um. <laughs> so there's a there's this character called Clash, right? And she's a big shield. She got she got taken out the game, I think, because she's broken. Um, so on attack, you have to attack the house or attack the building, and um, she has a big shield, right? And she electrocutes you and slows you down. And Fat was like, he he electrocutes me, and we're playing one v one basically or two v one, and he electrocutes Electrocutes me and just spit, like he does something stupid, and it, it still makes me mad to this day. I scream. That's not how you play Clash. Beat my desk all in like three seconds. I disconnect and turned off my computer. Yeah, everything went offline. Everything went offline. I did not come back for the rest of the day. That was oh, it was bad. I genuinely still get mad at that to this day. But yeah, no. With Clash, know. you're supposed to just kind of camp and you know defend the site, not aim. Yeah, not what I 
did was jump out the window and slap you with the with the with the shield. Yeah, he jumped. Oh my god! I it, it was just one of the dumbest things I think he could do, and it just made me mad. But uh, I don't know. That that I wish that was another thing I kept asking him about if he had the sound clip was because I was gonna <laughs> import it into one of the one of the songs if I ever made one, import it into just screaming and belligerence, but he can't find it, which sucks. So I'm gonna I want to switch back to the the, the virgin thing here because I was I was watching a bit of the it, it was a video you uploaded where you with <laughs> some guy you're talking about the how PewDiePie reviewed it. Um, did I, did I hear correctly that you you got into the the Jubilee thing through a Craigslist ad? Yeah, I was <laughs> I was uh, browsing uh, Craigslist and it said uh, we are looking for virgins. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I sent them my email. I was like, "Hey, I'm a virgin," and then they gave me a call, you know, to you know make sure it's real and everything like that, and uh, they put me on the show. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for virgins. What a great... What a did great you think it was a post. meme? Like, what did you think when you, like, signed up for it? No, <laughs> I, I knew it was real, you know? Oh, wow. Looking for real virgins. Uh, Jubilee's a Christian channel, so they were, you know, legit. So, uh, I was like, hey, I'm a virgin, sign me up. And they're like, are you sure you really want to do this? Because once you do this video, there's going to be millions of people who are now, now going to know that you're a virgin. I was like, yeah, no, I, I know. I'm a virgin. I'm fine with that. I'm very confident in my virginity. And I, like literally like the following weeks after that video came out, like it hit like I think it was like fifteen million on uh the Jubilee channel. And then like wow. a, a whole bunch of other YouTubers started reviewing the video. So there's like six reviews. So people just started coming up to me in the streets like, Hey, are you that are you that virgin? That dude? virgin dude? <laughs> That virgin dude. <laughs> and I was just like, "Hey, yes, I am. God bless. Uh, I hope everything's going well with you." So you know, it's been it's been really positive so far. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm assuming Craigslist in your area isn't full of people just trying to to bait prostitutions and stuff. Oh no, that's there too. And you know, you got your whole uh, you know, like actual scammers trying to get your credit card and social. Security information, so you gotta you gotta be careful. Yeah, because yeah. all that really happens in in my area, at least every now and then, there's a decent deal with computers. There, apparently, the collectible market's pretty good, and literally everything else. There's like at least seventy posts in the community tab per day that get deleted periodically by probably the one moderator, and they're all, all just they're they're mainly sex scams, and they're sometimes they're so awfully worded they don't even make any sense. Oh. Um. The best part is we don't even have that. Like, there, there's almost no one who uses Craigslist except for the people who post ads. There aren't many buyers, so I don't know why scammers well just if, load it up. Nah, there has to be some buyers because then the scammers would have no reason to do it. So like, they, exactly something must be working. Like, like dudes wouldn't be on on Tinder swiping and saying ridiculous stuff if every one out of forty said yes, like or didn't say yes. So there's a reason for it. Somebody's getting scammed. True. I don't know. I have a feeling the bot ones are probably just automated to go through, like, the in- entirety of New York State and just every single region of it and post ads. I've been trying to teach myself to code to make my own bots, but, uh... See, I'm doing that right now. That's that's what I'm doing for, um... Really? Uh, well, I, I'm going... That's why I said school has been tough right now, because, uh... I'm, I'm going... Th- I want to go to RIT, or, uh... Well, not... Uh, well, you right now I'm doing, like, computer coding, and that's kind of the main thing that I'm going into. And right now I'm doing, like, computer tech and technology. I'm so jealous. And it... I, it gets a bad, like, well, the way I'm, the, the way I'm going about it is I go through, like, I go my main school half the day and then, uh, like, a like, a what is, what, what is it called? A, oh, I forgot what it's called. A, a trade school. I go to trade school half the other day. And then, um, it, I, oh my God, I, um, I go there half the, half the day and then I just learn about, uh, coding. And, and, and um, computer security, cyber security, and uh, networking. And I just I just uh, got certified my my first certification for my junior year. So I'm a, I'm a junior technician. Especially, like, my, I, my 
parents were like, oh, I started building like uh, coding at my main school. And right now I'm doing like computer co- programming and trying to make my own game. And right, I have to relearn it because I haven't code like I haven't fully coded in like a year. So it's like it takes a lot to remember. So that's another thing I want. That's a side thing I want to do. But um, that's one of the main reasons I got into like, computers was because of this, and especially like uh, I have a uh, the college uh, Rochester Institute of Technology is a pretty big college for like computer programming and stuff. Okay. And uh, they. I, my, one of my family members, I didn't know this now uh, until now, they went to RIT and they were like, oh, I, I might be able to get, get a foot in the door if I talk, talk to the um, acceptance office and stuff like that. And right now, since my family, uh, like, I don't want to go all four years. It's very expensive. Um, I'm going to go to uh, community college first for the first two years and then go transfer in for my like, second two years of college, which is one of the like most important things I want to do. So it's like, hey, I, I, I like computer programming. It, and I think for you, um, I think Python would be good. That's that's kind of the easiest one for you to start learning computer programming, Python. All right. Um, you don't need that much. It's not really user intensive. It's it's not really that hard to learn. So it's like, uh, that's, that's one of the main ones that I first learned in. And that one I still want to stick with because it's, like not intensive at all. So Python, it's free, um, and there's like o- over millions of people. Even like not even regular computer programmers. Like um, what is it? Uh, other o- other companies use it as in for like uh, their programs and stuff like that. So it's it works. So yeah, and I mean, you'll have I've, a lot of places I've, to look I've up. I've been looking at all of them. Like I, I've uh, I've dabbled in Python. There's this thing called the Odin Project, where it's like mm-hmm. JavaScript, Ruby on Rails. So I've been trying to do that, but just the focus and just being able to just sit there and just do it is uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to learn. Hard. Like you gotta love it. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, I see it for what it is, but I'm like, I actually gotta sit here and do this. That's kind of hard. Uh, it gets it gets intense, but don't ever do Xcode. Never. Oh god. Don't even touch it. Yeah. If, if anyone says learn Xcode, never touch it. I took a whole year of Xcode. It I genuinely hate it. I love the teacher, but the Xcode it it, it doesn't work. It, it it doesn't help with um. It, it just doesn't make sense. You're gonna be have to read forms every five seconds because something changes. Yeah. yeah. The, don't if don't even touch it. Touchy. Yeah. Don't touch it at all. If you're planning on making like bots and stuff, um, IFTTT, it's a it's a website. It they might have um, like user made templates and stuff for for those types. Because that's how I have a I have a Discord bot that adds everyone when I go live, and it's just an IFTTT script that I put my account into. Is that the he's live thing? Yeah. Okay, I didn't understand what that was or what it was. Ta- I already I, I thought it was um epic. Uh, I thought that was his um thing saying if I he's live. To make, like a YouTube bot. Uh, how should I do that? For like what? Like botting views? Uh, I do anything. I'm, okay, so this is. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bot wouldn't, views. You're I your wouldn't. Channel deleted. Yeah, I wouldn't bot views. Right. I, I, I I'm not gonna do it on my main account. I, I'll do it on my, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it on a side account to so see if it gets caught. Exactly. Then I'll do it on the main account. I respect that. No, I'll do it on like two side accounts. You know, I do yeah. one trial, two trial. Um, but no, nah, I probably wouldn't do it on my main account. I, I might just make one of my side accounts my main account if it actually works. But that is like, true. Like yeah, do like a view bot or there's like this YouTube uh, channel called Tom. And literally oh. every time I post a video on any of my channels, Tom will put a comment like, "Oh, hey, I love this. Like, we should work together." And that's oh, that's- it's spotted. It's spotted for um, yeah. Someone probably put a bot on your channel whenever you upload. They want to. I don't know. No, yeah. but but Tom is everywhere. Like every video I see, every new video I see, Tom is on there commenting. So he's getting everyone. Oh, it's a mu- it's a is it like a music one? Like is it only music videos or like everyone, everyone? Dude, he's getting it on random people. I keep seeing Tom. <laughs> like same <laughs> same email, same everything, right? In the same message too. It's probably a certain it's a, it's, it's, it's a, a bot. bot. It's a it's a high tier it's a uh, high tier. It probably just sifts every YouTube video and like a different subscriber base. It has to be verified. Doesn't like a thousand v- or ten thousand views be verified? Right, Matt? Or, I don't know. I, I it's really just a bot that once it finds a video, it just goes through every single one of those recommended videos, um, and then recommend, and then continuously yeah. goes through those and goes through the the recommended and on that other recommended video it clicked on, and it's like a never ending tree of just branches of different 
bot sections of a comment to different videos through the recommended feed. If I were to guess. Yeah, yeah that um, makes sense. Because that would explain possibly how it, how you're seeing the comments on like videos you watch and stuff. Because it probably has the same, it probably looked at the same, rec- like same things you look at. Kind of. In the same like scope of things. Okay. Because YouTube's recommended, it's like, it's weird. Because you'll get recommended some outlandish stuff sometimes. And then you'll get recommended the same thing. If you're fr- you and your friend watch the same YouTubers, you're definitely getting the same recommendations for everyone. So it's like, well, yeah, it's, I think it's like, like someone that, not someone that you know, it's some, it's someone that watched the same YouTube videos or it started there and it kind of just connects to everything over, it probably is over scoping all of YouTube maybe, okay. but it's just a bot. I know a lot of, um, SoundCloud rappers do that to, um, uh, just go into people's comment section. Yo, uh, check on my music. But uh, they get f- they get like bullied. <laughs> like, have you ever gone to the comment section like rapper rap videos and like, like oh you should check on my song or check on my mixtape? I'm like they just get straight up bullied, oh, which yeah. is like they they get. But that's harassed. good though. But that's good though. Like you want that. The more the more you got people hating, like the higher your views are gonna go immediately. That is true. Because the one thing people love to do is hate, and they love to show other people hate. So I found out early on, man, like. The worse the song, the bigger it's probably going to be. <laughs> Look at Little Boom. Look at Look at Little Boom. Look at Little Boom. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm scrolling through a porn time, album man. on page 50. I literally <laughs> memorized one of his songs because it's such a meme, but it's such the beat goes hard. You're Dude, like, what? I need his instrumentals, man. I'm trying to read me. Um, those. I can, I have his, I can invite you to his Discord server. I will we'll talk Dude, about that later. I need but I, those. It's a private Discord server, so I, hopefully, because I've talked to him on occasion, and I was in a group chat with him, but uh, yeah, you know, he, he's, he's, I think he's verified now, or he has his big thing you know he's, he's big so he doesn't really look at everyone again right, so right. it's like um sometimes he goes to the discord server i have to get in contact with him again because i haven't talked to him in a but, while. Uh, yeah little boom and that new cat what's his what's his, uh zach D-Banks? nah oh zach Act fox dude that, yeah, oh, hey. the, the kenny beats dude. kenny beats shadow mental illness That's oh so my fire, god bro. i, to that I took my dick in a bag of doritos oh, oh man Matt, you, Matt, you 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 won't like it. You okay? You'll like it as a meme, but it's what's actually going on meme. anymore. <laughs> all right, all right. We're talking about rap songs. Okay, um, he doesn't. This is the war. Shout out Palestine. Shout out Palestine. It's free. Shout out Palestine. Free take K. Um, rest in peace, Betty White. She ain't dead yet, but I, but soon because I know she will be. <laughs> Dude, that beat slap. It's okay. That okay, that's slap. not. It's um. You know, uh, Kenny beats. Whoa, well, Kenny! You know that the you know in the beats where it says "Whoa, Kenny." Yeah. Um. Go. I think it's um the cave. Look up on YouTube. Whoa, Kenny the cave. No, he I has know. one. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't I've know. Seen that dude. Oh. I, I'm okay. 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 <laughs> I didn't know if you knew if you knew where yes, the original was. No, okay. I know the original. <laughs> I know how that works. How it was it? It wasn't even supposed to be in like a reveal. It was it. It, He hates it. He hates he it hates because it. of it. <laughs> Cause it, it um it he all everyone thinks he's just a meme now, but he's worked with Enzo. He's worked with all the good lyrical rappers. I know. But that one, the meme blew him up. The meme blew. I didn't know. I I can say I didn't know about Kenny Beats until the the Zach Fox thing. Exactly. That's how I found and, Kenny Beats. And Kenny, that's how yeah, that's how I found Kenny Beats too. But Kenny Beats is like really good. He works with he's Doja really Cat, yeah. Denzel Curry, um, Joji. Yeah. Oh my god, Joji's new album I think has Kenny Beats on it. Um, but it's great because they put him on uh, Genius Raps because yes, of the Zach oh, Fox. Zach Fox. He, he was so he was mad. The whole time. He was so mad. He's like, I'm a meme now. I was trying to have an actual career. <laughs> but I, I think people respect him. But I don't know if the like the actual rap like the rappers respect. Him sometimes they're like oh every i think he was talking to denzel curry he was like everyone thinks it's zach fox and <laughs> denzel just straight up laughed at him I was like, Damn, that's fucked. it was it's a meme of a song i'll have to send you guys man have you really not seen it but meme rap is the future though what? so it like, is. kenny beats is like he's getting he's in at the Perfect time. So, shouts out Kenny Beach. Shouts out Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> free take K. Even though he murdered a couple people, free take K. Banger music, you know. Yeah. If 6 9 can get out, hey, anyone can get out, you know. Dude, we, Yo, need, we, we, we need a track with Little B, Zach Fox, and Lil Boom. I want to hear it. <laughs> oh, have you? Okay, you need to, Okay, I feel like you've heard it. it um, But 
I can't say the name of it because we're on a podcast. Um, um, but, <laughs> yeah, I, I messed up the first time, but I, 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 I actually, I'm yeah, gonna be yeah, you did here. mess up the first podcast. We were trying to get sponsored, and uh, the first word is a hard R N word. Uh, no, it wasn't hard R. Okay, <laughs> yes, all right, it, it was. <laughs> What's the artist but, name? What's the artist um, name? D Bangs. D Bangs. Uh, I don't know that one. Okay. 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 Um, uh, Just link it in the the. Um, I can I can send it to you on Instagram, but um, uh, it, it's it, that's the first one. I think it came on twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen, and that's when I first got into meme rap because and then Little Boom and him made a song together, which is a banger. Um, it it, it it's called Kabono mm-hmm. or K- Kimono, and uh, I said Kabono. Oh my god. Um. Uh, and it's if you, you if it's meme rap you like it's just it's, it's talking about going on porn the hub and scrolling to that one video I remember, like that's okay. genuinely that's that like it's a it's a boom song. So his name you, is Doja Cat. You said no, the um, Doja Cat's a girl. Uh, you know, bitch, I'm a oh, bitch, I'm a cat. Have you heard that song? Nah, I, I, oh, I, I, I got I got I got to get you. I, I'll send you some meme songs. That, yeah, send me all the <laughs> memes, blew. man. Cause well, I've, uh, uh, I've been listening to uh, Yellow London as of late. I haven't heard of them. Ooh, oh, what was dude, that? Yellow London's the uh, worst, uh, man. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna DM you on Twitter, <laughs> on Instagram right now. Dude, I gotta... Yellow London. Yellow London pretty much makes songs about everything that you like. You can't make songs about. So see, that's what I want to do. <laughs> that, that's what because. I think I say that. Could you say, Matt, I say that, but I shouldn't? Like, as in, I say the uh, horrible things, but I probably shouldn't say them. Yeah. Because I... I, I but I make a song I, about it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Like, and better that thing, it's sent to the office over it. Oh, yeah, no, I've said it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. Our school, the, the, a lot of kids think I do... Uh, I'm a... I am. <laughs> I remember talking to you in the hallway. I'm like, Sarah, why are you going to the office? I said some dumb shit. Yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I just DM'd you, yo, on Instagram. I don't know if you got it. Uh, but, I, um, I, don't, I don't got my phone on me. I'm just on oh, my laptop. Oh, well, uh, I, I said yo, and I'll, I'll send you the links. But uh, it was, it, you should definitely check them out. And, um... Oh my God! It's it's one of the that, that's what like the younger generation list too. Like D Bangs, right. Little right. Boom, Doja Cat. Yeah, yo, bro, Doja Cat, beautiful. But um, uh, you've heard the song probably. Uh, oh, she has a song with Ty Dolla or Tyga, um, mm-hmm. Juicy. It that is it's called Juicy. But um, uh, that's not a meme song, but that that's just a regular song. Check it all it, out, man. All the meme that, raps, cause uh, I mean, I need some more inspiration. Lately, I've been uh. Taking like all the the old like religious mantras from like mm-hmm. Egypt, like just as far back as I could go, like the ancient stuff, and like trying to put it over like rap and R and B beats. So that's what I've been working through Christ on. that strengthens me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just do, like, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> but, See, that's but what I think like, of. But it's more like Egyptian stuff, you know what I mean? Ooh, you know, like, all right, all Hindu right. Stuff. So like, I'm going ah, way, I way back. I saw a video. I saw. I, 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 didn't, I didn't see it. I think she was Indian. Maybe she was dancing. It was one of your thumbs out. I didn't get the, the chance to look at it. But oh I was like, yeah, yeah. The little uh, yeah, <laughs> the girl dancing. My, my first one I just released. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get to listen to it yet. But um, that I, I know exactly what you're talking about. But um, yeah. what, what you're what you're saying is what I say, but I just don't record it or put it out because I'm like, I don't know if people are gonna, I don't know if I'm getting trolled for this one. Nah, just make a just make a troll name. Don't put your face on it, and just start releasing stuff, and just see how people react. See that that's why it was Nut Pack, Little Queef Chaser, Little Milk Chaser, um, Little Cum Stain, but that's everyone uses that one. Yeah. Uh, little Little Cum Stain is always one that's like. It's it's a good one. Like it's it's just always a good one for a little come saying, but I don't know. Uh, I recently uh, came across Lil Handy Bag and he slaps like Lil Handy, yo. <laughs> Lil Handy Bag. Lil Handy Bag. Like it's 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 the ones like that where it's like, yo, how'd you come up with that? I just made hey, I'm making bankers. <laughs> but um I think I kind of, I'm, 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 I might bug you a lot if I ask you some questions in, in DMs, but um, if I have any questions, I, I, I'm definitely might bug you about it because I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have questions because I really, I really do think I, I want to do this because I have nothing else to do. I have the materials to do it, so it's like, why not at this point? All right. 
So I, I think I, I think I might do it. I don't know. Talking to you kind of kind of solidified I should do it because talk, like little boom we were talking about it, but it wasn't really. It was like it was like yeah, you should just do it just to be a meme. But he he also wanted because I was I was talking about some like nut stuff. He was like yo, <laughs> he was like yo, I should use you should like give me give me lyrics. I was like what? Because because little boom like sometimes uh, I guess he buys the lyrics but he like like off of like his discord server he'll like um he'll like take like like uh like verses or not yeah, verses yeah, like yeah. like lines yeah. and then and then he'll, i was like what? no I, if little boo says oh i should use that or you should say that a song th- that means I'm, I'm i'm memeing something right so it's like right. I, I i probably should do it so nah, i mean it makes sense i mean people have yeah. sent me stuff and like yo send this in a song and i've used it before so yeah no yeah nothing wrong i don't i think now people are like like the last time like got mad at like having a go not even a ghostwriter but like you not using your own beats is like drake like push a t drake but like now no, it's like well why would you even trip you're a meme rapper like literally that is true cares. that is true like, literally you're <laughs> supposed to piss people off <laughs> see, see if i do that i piss people off great so, so it's so like <laughs> if, if somebody says like do you got a ghostwriter be like yeah i got thousands like so what <laughs> <laughs> But I've I, never I, written a song in my life. I stole all of it. All Thank of it. you. <laughs> and, and my thing is, my dad's from New York. He's from the Bronx, right? And uh, it, it's all lyrical stuff. So I'd have to make mine like that's how I know it. I, I don't like mumble rap, so it's gonna be all lyrical. And like, like the first ones have like the Wu Tang um like intro songs, the intros, okay. and like the um like the the uh, show your Wu Tang style and, and all that. Okay. So I probably will like hire someone to um. Uh, make the like have my uh, have like a Wu Tang background and be related and like, like change of like go old school boom bap beats and and have like the old school vibe to it. But then I'd probably just do some about buffoonery one and then just go with it. So I, I uh, you're 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 really you're really tell, uh, helping me figure out I should do this now. Because... So so I'm planning on making some uh, virgin meme raps. Um... I'm I'm thinking of maybe it should be R and B type, maybe it should be rap type, but then there's like a little bit of me that kind of wants to do it, <laughs> like uh, what's his name, six four five A R with like a high pitched voice. I don't know. Which, 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 oh, it's like it's like the um it maybe crave me by uh, uh what is it? Well, what's his name? Playboy Cardi, you know the um oh no I don't know uh, it's it's a meme where his voice is just really high. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, 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 those are hilarious. And then how they just mumble like, nye, 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 nye. Right. It, it, it's, it, but it works though. The thing is, it works, and I don't understand why it works, but it's actually a banger. If it's the beat meme. is fire, no, yeah. It's if the, <laughs> it's, it, if it's a meme, but the beat, have you, are you telling me half the songs that, that we hear that are memes, the beats aren't fire? Are you no, saying they're that? all fire? They're, 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 all, they're fire. all fire. But you can't just have one like a, a a meme song without a fire beat. You have to have a like it won't get popular. I feel like unless yeah, you no, didn't have true. a fire beat, that's true. That's you're true. gonna yeah. So it's like. Cause I, I listen to I, I don't know why I've always listened to like like not even I've gone like in depth in like like rap history and like rap stuff like that so I know it so it's like well this song's trash and what he's talking about but why is it that it's popular like Playboy Cardi who's a like a big hit right now with all the mumble rap mm-hmm. this man came out with a, a song that he only mumbled like genuinely only mumbled and it, it's called Meh yeah yeah and I'm like what and I. He, hey, he he's mumbling. He's making money because the beat. I listened to the beat. I was like, "Yo, this hits." Dude, and I was like, "Future man." I, I and I knew Playboy uh, Cardi was gonna blow up long ago. Like I heard this song, and he had like a, a PlayStation One beat. And when I heard mm. that, like if you ever, I, I think it's called Young Young Zanho. Yeah, that's what it's called, Young Zanho. It's old old song. Like that's when I first started hearing. This, this is before he was even working with uh, what was it, Father. You know, mm-hmm. father like that. That was kind of how like Playboy got known. But before he was even working with uh, Father, he made a song called Young Zanho, and mm-hmm. that slapped. And I was like, yeah, he's gonna be doing something. And, and and that was around the time I started rapping too. I was just, oh wow, he's on something. Yeah, this and this man, he big. and he's like, like, like all the kids in my school who just listen to Travis Scott listen to listens to Playboy Cardi. He's like, 
He's like another version of Travis Scott, I feel like. Because Travis Scott used to be a real, like, I wouldn't say lyrical, but he could rap. He, yeah, he could really rap. That's true. He, he, that's doesn't, true. he doesn't do it anymore. I'm like, I don't like this new Travis Scott. Like, Astroworld, I think the song Watch, that was... That was that was one of my favorite songs. It has Kanye, Little Uzi Vert, and, and uh, Travis Scott. One of the best song, like that song, gets me hyped out of my mind for some reason. And it it's it's just he's rapping. I'm like, wow, Travis Scott can rap. But I don't listen like, to any mainstream rap. Like I literally only <laughs> listen to meme rap. So <laughs> see, I, I I used to be like that, but yeah, like I like lyrical rap. So it's like at the same time I, I listen to it. So it's like. I mean, it really depends how I feel, but mostly it's it's either boom bap, beat rap, lyrical rap, or just memes. Pure, pure memes. So it's like... I listen to I'm... memes. I listen to Earl Sweatshirt. Um, and then I listen to... There's, there's this guy called Jar Jar Jr. He's a producer. Mm -hmm. And he takes like all of the old rap from like the early like 2000s and uh, the 90s, and he mm -hmm. puts them over his own beats. So I'll listen to that. But other than that, I don't, I don't listen to any lyrical rap at all, except for that. Ah, uh, but that, the, uh, I think it's just how, how you, what, what, when you were younger, what did you listen to? Uh, 50 Cent, um, mm -hmm. Tribe Called Quest. Yes, that's my, that's like, that's all I used to listen to. Like, yeah. Fat Joe, that's, that's okay, what I've been, that's Joe. what, um, uh, what is it? What is her name? Uh, Lauren Hill. That's uh, a song. Uh, Smalls, uh, really yes. Big, yes. Uh, I didn't like. Tupac. Didn't listen to Pac. Yep, I didn't listen to him. I didn't listen to him. But I, I respect him and what he did. But I just didn't really mess with him. But yeah. that's that's another, another thing. Like all the meme rap. For some reason, I, they always like know like either not boom bap like but they they know good music like a lot of. Like meme rap understands where good music come from, and they and so most of them say, "I don't know how this got popular just because of meme rap." You know what I mean? Like it's like, well, what happened? But I don't know. I think it's just, it's just the times that are changing. Oh, you dude, know, big time, big time. <laughs> um, I, the times are with, changing. Like everything that's going on right now, I think meme rap's gonna get even bigger. Cause yes, people, people people just want to laugh. Like they're like, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, like, typically, you know, rap is about, like, you know, drugs, guns. Hoes, money. Women. It's like those topics have been beat over the head for so long, but people want to hear something new. Like, they want to, like, be yeah. shocked from listening to music. So, meme rap is here. I think I think that's the reason I started getting into, um, like, meme rap. Because I was, because I, 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 um... Uh, Matt and I were we're, we we kind of say some not more mostly me but we you, you, you. yeah, yeah it's mostly you. me say <laughs> it's it's mostly me who 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 does the outlandish thing because I'm 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 the crazy kid in school who who does the crazy things and say crazy stuff so it's like I I kind of like leaned into that like um not facade but like I I started saying it more and I, I, in, in my school my freshman year I was like um uh. Little Come Stain album coming soon, and everyone thought I was gonna like genuinely thought I was gonna do it just because how much of a meme and how much of like songs I did, and so I I never really went into it because my friend didn't want to do it, but I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna belong to the question here because that was that was long. <laughs> yeah, well, that was. Uh, um, I was not in a bad way. I just got a whole list of questions here. Um. So the the moving along from rap here to a completely different thing, um, are those Huawei commercials during when, you, when you're dressed as a Huawei phone? Are those like legitimate commercials? Uh, yeah, those are legitimate commercials. Because I have never did, did they where, where did they air? Were they TV or were they like internet commercials? Um, they were internet commercials in America. They were TV commercials in Southeast Asia. Gotcha. Mm. Because I, I hadn't seen it, but I don't think my my YouTube recommended probably wouldn't reflect, like, phone stuff, so I doubt I would have seen it um, yeah. that way, but I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. I wouldn't, I didn't realize how much stuff you had been on until I dove a bit deeper than just the the Derwitz and all the songs and stuff. I didn't realize you were in Huawei commercials and stuff like that. That's yeah, cool. I've, I've been acting now for five years, so I've been, uh, I've been in some productions here and there, you know. Uh, Anything we know? Anything you know. Um, you were on Steve Harvey, weren't you? <clears throat> yeah, Steve Harvey. Uh, like the like the like the like the daytime show. Yeah, the daytime yeah. show. 
Oh, my, oh, my grandparents probably saw you. <laughs> <laughs> they probably did. Anything date, Steve Harvey. I was on a dating show on Steve Harvey. Uh, I was recently on a dating show on E, the channel, E channel. E News? E, uh, not, oh, E. Okay. Called, uh, some date. I, I got to look it up. I actually got to find Blind Date? Clip. No, that's a, that's a Netflix show. Um, I, I did Fear Factor. Um, oh. Let's see. I've been on a couple of uh, game shows, so um, hip hop. How do you find these? Like, um, there's a there's a website called LA Casting, and they just mm-hmm. post a bunch of just uh, casting things. And then I have a uh, I have a a manager and an agent too who uh, puts me out on auditions. Mm-hmm. Do they ever say like your your like rapping stuff like gets in the way of like booking stuff or no? Uh, they don't really know too much about my rapping stuff. Like, <laughs> I've I've kind of kept that to the side, you know, because I which is smart, <laughs> which is smart. Which but is... I'm, I'm sure I'm I'm so sure that there's been some casting directors who like I've auditioned for, and then they came across my stuff and didn't book me because of that. So I'm pretty sure that I've mm. probably shot myself in the foot a couple but they... times. If they've heard you say I'm not gonna pay child support, be- even though I don't have a child, that that was when I heard that I genuinely fell out of my chair laughing. Like that when I heard you say that, I was like, "What? <laughs> what? I don't. I'm not paying child. I'm, I'm I'm not paying child support, but I didn't even have a child. What? <laughs> Wait, when did I say that? <laughs> um, you said it on um. Hold on, I, I'm tapped into, into something right now. Hold on, on um, skipping town. <laughs> You're gonna skip child support. That's what you said. <laughs> Even though I don't have a child, that was. I was like, yo, what? <laughs> and that was. If this was right after, that was the the second one that was recommend. That was the first one recommended to me. That was the second song I listened Dude, to. You I gotta on. find this song. Hold on. It's got. <laughs> it's skipping town. It has. Um, skipping oh, town. I have it. All right, that's another thing. I've made so many songs that people will DM yeah. How do you remember them? People people will DM me and be like, "Yo, what's this song where you said so and so?" And I'm like, oh, I don't even know, dog. I don't even know, dude. I like really what I need to do, and like, all right, I'm gonna do it. I uh, I'm gonna upgrade my SoundCloud to a pro finally, so I can do unlimited uploads. I'm just gonna upload everything, and so it's gonna be a lot of trash, but maybe. People will like it. I mean, it's a lot of meme rap, but mm-hmm. I, I need to do that. I just have like this whole vault of just unreleased material. Just cause yeah, it ha- it has a girl with a, with a sparkler in her hand, like in like a, it's a girl with a sparkler in her hand. Oh, it's on like, YouTube. Has a, yeah, it's on YouTube. Oh, YouTube. okay. All right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's um uh, skipping town. Skipping town. All right, I'll check this out. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, "I'm gonna like this dude. I'm gonna like this dude." Skipping out on child support, he ain't got kids. That's a kids. fact. Uh, I'm, I'm living with that motto. But um, that that's kind of what that was like. The second thing I saw you, the first was Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. Then skipping the town. Oh, yes. man, going to Chuck E. Cheese with kids, but not paying not child, support. child support. Yep. Oh. That's a motto to live by right there. Oh, here it is. Oh, Rare Boy. Shouts out Rare Boy. He got some dope beats. Okay, so did you... Was that the beat that you, you got from... Was that the when you looked up uh, Free Beats or whatever you said about that? Yeah, yeah. So Free for Profit Beats. If you type free for YouTube, Profit Beats. There's a guy called Rare Boy who, who uploads a lot of beats on there. Alright. Because I think... You gotta start paying them. I mean, <laughs> Epic, that's like the only words I think you've said in the entirety of the podcast so far. No, he's been talking. It's just been me and, <laughs> me and Derek talking about stuff you guys probably don't know about a lot. <laughs> yeah. Because you, okay, they don't really listen to, to rap like I do. Because right, right. I listen to I listen to a lot more rap than they do. Because like, okay. uh, there's a this rapper called E-Double who died, who's a really good rapper. And Matt was the one who kind of got me introduced to him. But that was that. That's the only thing we make fun. I make fun of Matt because that's the only thing Matt listens to. Is what it's I said. It's still not true. It's not true. <laughs> see, 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 Matt he gets. But um, that, like he only listens to E Double. But um, that's what he kind of like. He he. I don't think he got me into meme rap, but he got me into memes. I don't like a lot of his memes because they're not good. But 
Um, that that's kind of the stuff they listen. They they don't listen to the to the I wouldn't say generic side of, of rap, but like the, oh yeah, no generic side of rap. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of genericness in, in rap nowadays. So it's like they can't really they don't really listen to that stuff. Like Earl Sweatshirt. He didn't even know who Earl Sweatshirt was until the... He said, I do know because of Derwitz, uh, uh, the the tag, but not not by Earl Sweatshirt, um, like his songs. Cause I, I mean, not going to lie, like, <clears throat> when I first uh, when I first started rapping on my iPhone back in Germany, mm-hmm. all I was listening to was Earl Sweatshirt and Lil B. So, like, Earl Sweatshirt, his flow, I think Earl Sweatshirt has, like, the dopest flow. Yes, yes. And just the way he uses assonance in all of his raps, which is basically rapping on vowels, is just so sick. So I love that. And then when, like, just hearing Little B just rap about anything just inspired me to be like, okay, cool, I can't rap, but I can at least rap like Little B. So I kind of just started rapping like Little B with an Earl Sweatshirt flow. So, like, that was the beginning. And with practice, I got better. Yeah, I, I think that's that's what I'm gonna start doing. It. A lot of them won't be good, but I'm gonna have fun and I have nothing else to do. So that's kind of what I'm about to start doing. Um, let's see here. Uh, how did you enter the the slapping contest? I forget the name of it, but I've seen the video. <laughs> so uh, that's another Craigslist one. Uh, it was on Craigslist. It was uh, the ad said. We'll pay you a thousand dollars to get in a slapping match with a Russian, and um, <laughs> that's literally wow. they said something like that, and I was like, "Okay, sign me up." So they put me in this room, like it was this casting room with all of these huge Russian dudes, like they're all <laughs> bodybuilders, right? And so I walk in, I was like, "They're like, so uh, are you ready to do a slap match?" I was like, "Wait, right now there's just an audition." They're like, "No, no, no, we're just playing. We're just here to do a." audition so I sat down and they were just questioning me like if I was a real fighter or not or if I've ever like been in a slapping match I was like no they're like are you scared I was like well to be completely honest I won't slap box anybody in this room but that guy sitting on the couch outside I'll slap box him <laughs> and that's the guy in the video like they're like that guy outside I was like yeah they're like you know he's a real fighter from Russia I was like I don't care I'll slap box him and they're like all right cool <laughs> So you they, you uh, look the weakest opponent? No, be no no no. Because everybody in that room was a professional bodybuilder from Russia, but they oh, weren't God. they weren't in the slap boxing match. They were like oh promoters. okay so okay. I didn't know that. So they they kind of like laughed like okay he wouldn't slap one of us like they're like duh we're not gonna make you slap one of us like we're huge. But the guy on the couch like just flew out from Russia. And was like, yeah, I'm a fighter in Russia, and I'll slap anybody. So they're like, yeah, we're looking for somebody to fight that guy anyway. And I was like, yeah, I'll slap that guy on the couch. So that's wow. Happened. <clears throat> yeah. That, All right. That's, I'm going to have to start going up a little soon. And I won that match, dude. I won that match, but they <laughs> called it a tie. They called it a tie because, like. They didn't want it to look bad. Yeah, because it's Russia. Like, the, the big guy in the video is one of the uh, bodybuilders. He like mm-hmm. pulled me to the side. He like, look, you won, but for Russia, we got to make it half and half. I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not gonna go against you, big dog. Yeah. So um, I also found one of your videos are um saying that you're a, a marketing associate for Box Waters Better. Is that true? That is true. That is <clears throat> that has been my employer for three years now. Oh my gosh, like. All of all of my employers, I, I I normally last for like six months to a year, but Box Water, it's just it's so cool. Like my managers and like the things I'm able to do with that company, that uh, I'm stuck with it. Shouts out Box Water. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I didn't um, the, like the the brand. Wait, what? I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, like the Box Water, like like the black box and like yeah. I remember, I remember that first came out, and I think it was seventh grade for uh, oh, long, and um, I remember this girl's like, yeah, I got box water, and I just looked so mad at her, like I just, I don't know why, I was like, ah, this makes me upset, like environmentalist. <laughs> no, I wasn't even that. It was just like she just made me so mad, and then just adding that on just made it even worse. <laughs> so it was just like, oh, you're you're just you just want to get me mad at you. 
I feel that. that. I feel that. But uh, nah, like, dude, box water is so lit. Like, I, I basically just go out to events, musical concerts, and give out free box water, take photos. Sometimes we do, like, game activations for the people. So, like, I just end up getting invited to a whole bunch of parties, get free food, free drinks. I mean, it's it's a great company, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's good for you. It's not... It's, it's good. Yeah. It is. And it's, and it's it good is. for the environment. Like, Yeah. Like now beach. that I know... Yeah. Now that I know, it's good for the environment too. But like when you, when it, when I first came out, I was like, I hate you. I, like, <laughs> and I I genuinely I still talk, she's my friend now, and and I was like, I genuinely hate you because of this box water. But I don't know. I probably should tell her that I'm, I'm <laughs> someone who works at Box Water. Yeah. She yeah. So- we should get we should get Box Water to be the official sponsor of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I don't know, but th- th- this was cool. I didn't think I'd ever like. I I, I didn't think I'd be talking like like rappers like they like you got like usually in my head like like any like type of rapper that has like exposure like they seem like assholes. I th- I always thought that, but like a lot of them are like just down the earth people like Little Boom and you and then um D Bangs uh like really cool guys. So it's like I was like what I never well, to thought. To be completely honest, I don't feel like I've made it in rap. Like, it might sound weird, like, sure, like, people know who I am, but, like, inside of me, I still feel like the same person who, before I started rapping, like, sure. Here's another guy. Yeah, yeah, like, sure, like, so, like, and, and it, like, I, I even get shot, like, if somebody comes to me, like, in the street and just, like, Young Camel Toe or Dear Vids or <laughs> The Virgin, like, I'm always like, uh, Oh right, right. I do do that. I am that. I am. That. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. There's always a moment of like, oh right, and then they're all excited. Let's take a photo. Let's do it. I'm like, oh right, yeah. There's, there's that. So like, I guess in my mind, I'm still just, just e, you know. Yeah, I I think that that that's what I like because there are a lot of rappers that are just like just just complete bad people. Like yeah. they they. In they their get, defense, though, they made it, made it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, I'm underground. Like, like, they... Not even that. I've seen a lot of some underground rappers that are just, like, have big heads. You know nice. what I mean? Yeah, and they, they think they... Because they, 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 they have some type of, like, statue in, like, even in an underground scene that people know them enough. They're okay. like, all right, well, I think I think they, they peaked. So they feel like their, their life has peaked and they don't see anything else. So uh. they're going to use what they have as, like, them. So I, I I don't know, but I, I always like, that just that just gave me a bad like rap to like different rap- rappers, but it's good to see like no rappers are assholes. Like honestly, you guys doing this like podcast and like 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 yesterday I forgot about rap, but like now I'm like oh yeah right like people like listen to my raps and they they like look into me like I I, I forget that all the time like. When PewDiePie just did the review, I forgot about the whole version video. But I got like a phone call and like a whole bunch of texts like, yo, you're on PewDiePie, you're on PewDiePie. I'm like, what? PewDiePie? So I look, I like, I know, like I've heard of the name PewDiePie, but I never knew who he was until like I actually looked at it. I was like, oh, 105 million subscribers. And people are the like, biggest yo, YouTuber. what out merchandise, like make some money. I'm like, all right, yeah. <laughs> Get that like, bread. <laughs> <laughs> but like before that, I was just like, yo, what am I doing today? Like I'm in quarantine, like I'm bored. Like so. See, that's how I feel. So that that's <laughs> kind of like why I wanted to do the rap stuff. But yeah. mm-hmm. So thanks uh, for bringing yeah. me back, you know? I'm, 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 I'm slowly coming back to like, oh yeah, let's make some more content. I always oh. <laughs> <laughs> People like you gotta that, bring me back. I think I, you you. I don't think you can like if you have like like we said one good song like one good beat. You know you can skyrocket. Like, oh, like yeah. to, to be like it, it's just like wait. I just need to find that one good song to just make me pop off. That's true. Because I think Little Boom like talks to a lot of like big name people just because of um uh I forgot what his means. I forget. Didn't he, he has blow so many good... off of the Steph Curry song? Like, wasn't that little? Yeah, it was, it was at Steph Curry. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't even like that song though. But see, I love that song because Steph Curry is my favorite player. So oh, oh, you're a Steph. Bro. Dude, oh yeah, I'm you're from Steph. Cal. You're from Cal. Dude, I'm, I'm a LeBron boy. fan since I was a baby. LeBron oh, okay. fan. Yeah, yeah. I have a, I, my baby jersey in my uh, drawer right now. I've been repping LeBron since he was out of high school. Have his. I have his. His um his his uh what is it uh Sports Illustrated thing like 
in an envelope, like not an envelope, but in like cellophane wrapping. And my dad, my dad and I just look back at it like, oh man, <laughs> we're this is gonna be rich someday. So it's like, man. So I guess man, the weird here. thing is, is like I don't even watch sports. I really don't. I just like. I'll you just like Steph Curry. No, I'll sometimes like watch highlights and. and he just he so, he, uh, he had so many highlights. Threes. Yeah, he, he just, just shoots shoot threes. threes. And I love in that. half court threes, it's Cause, nuts. Because I'm all about the numbers. So like I'm yeah. like, yo, if you could if you can make more threes than you can make twos, you're gonna win. So I just like that analytically. So when mm-hmm. I go to the gym, all I do is shoot threes, and people hate me for it. But like, I don't care. <laughs> well, I. I, I played uh, like travel basketball for like AAU, and um, the, like everyone, like we had like like younger kids, like oh, I want to be this player, I want to be that player, I want to be, and like everyone said, oh, because I like my body, my build is like I I have like the not a build of LeBron, but like I I was so because my body was like I was bigger than all the other kids. I was bigger and I, I was agile so I could body kids in and pass the ball. I was stronger. But, and then everyone's like, oh, you're like LeBron throwing one handed pass. I was like, what? And, and that's kind of like, I was like, wait, people, like LeBron, I saw like, And my dad is a uh, Magic Johnson fan, diehard Magic Johnson fan, diehard Kobe fan. And it was sad. Rest in, oh, rest in peace, Kobe. That was, right, oh, that was fun. That was, that was so sad. But, um, uh, he, he was like, uh, cause Magic, no, LeBron plays like, played like Magic. It's like he, if you look back at it, like what LeBron does and how he runs a point guard and how he can be a, uh, um, a power forward. It's 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 kind of it's kind of nuts how it looks so similar. And it was like, oh, my dad was just like him. I was I'm just like my dad. And so, a LeBron fan, fuck Steph. Yeah, you know? people used to call me Elton Brand. I mean, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know. Elton Brand on the court, Zach Randolph. <laughs> Zach Randolph, man. <laughs> Bro, uh, I, I did get called Zach Randolph once. I was, I was, I was chunky, and I had a band, uh, uh, like a sweatband. I was like, yeah, I gotta take this off. <laughs> had had like the had this like the shaved head. I was like, no, nah, I gotta take this off. I'm not about to be called El- uh, Zach Randolph. But I don't know. It, it, it like there's a, I love how even like memes like come through like rap like I've seen like rappers listen like meme songs and and they know who uh well Doja Cat because she came off of a she's really hot but um um uh the cow like a moo song you know I, I, this is a little link I have to send you females have it so easy like, easy I like, know. Dude, if I was a female right now I would instantly become a meme rapper and make an OnlyFans account Facts. So much Facts. red. Like. Bro, sending feet pics for 20 bucks, people will buy it. Oh my god. Uh, but, but they're um, always like, oh my dignity or whatever they call it. No. Nah. It's like, dude, that that's like 1950s type stuff. It's just 2020. Nobody really cares about none of that. Just what unless eight, they're pure like hardcore purists. Like no. Like eight billion people on the planet. Nobody's tripping off of what you do with your feet. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's what <laughs> Make that money, <laughs> right? Like I'm all about making money, and and and, and uh, I'm not a hardcore capitalist, but like I, I like to make money ruthlessly. But uh, <laughs> I'm a hardcore. But, uh, I'm, I'm a hardcore capitalist. See, hardcore. That's what my my dad has like different businesses and stuff like that, and he he's taught me like making money and uh, having connections and in not not just sticking with your main group of people because you have to branch out and Dude, talk to new that's people. That's so important. I wish I would have known that. When I was like your age, but I'm just finding that out now. So I'm late to the game. I don't. I feel like that's that's another thing. I I, I know it, but sometimes like I don't want to really meet new people, and I'm like I don't really like them. So it's like maybe I should, but Dude, it's like in I, high I, school. In high school, they should literally just have a class called networking and taxes. We do. We have one. We have one now. Really? Networking? Yeah, our school. It's not yeah. called that exactly. It's, it's not it's called that, close. but it, it is really that. And they our, teach our you taxes school? as well in the same class. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm oh. I'm taking that course next year. My Dude. dad's like making me take the course because he he said you're not you need to know how to do these things. Yeah, yeah. Like those are the things that matter. Like nobody cares about when Christopher Columbus came to America. You don't need that. Like knowledge is trash. Like half of the stuff they teach you in high school is like not even necessary in adult life. So yeah, they, they need to teach you like networking, taxes, um, how to talk to women. Uh, See, that's I don't know, like, I don't know. See, that's a course that you talk with your like your really close teachers. It's like I have teachers that are dude, like, okay, there was like a class on that. Like you'd have such a they they need to have like a class on like meditation, philosophy, psychology, 
Like that's a lot of a TV. Like our school is like oh, pretty man. good on that. Dude, that's lit. Our, our, our school's like a little weird, like in the rules aspect and the, in the people aspect. The rules but are awful. The rules are awful, and the people are sometimes awful. But we have like top fi- uh, top fifty in the state school. Oh, that's dope. So, and uh, as a public school, that's and dope. it's like our school is really good, but. It's bad. Like when you go there, when you hear that, you're like, "Wait, our school's really good? What do you mean?" And but it's 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 weird. They push a lot of students through class. Like it, the the reason they have such a high rating, they push a lot of students through classes, no matter if. Well, no, that's test score wise. No, test score wise, not even that. That's like our test scores is like that's that's why we get through. I don't think they could do that as in like pushing kids through. I don't think that's allowed. But test score wise, our our school's off the charts. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think like like you're saying. I think schools are opening up to everything that like the like your generation said because I w- like people say I wish I knew how to do this. I wish I knew how to do that. And they're like, wait, what? And now and our kids are like, well, why can't I learn this? Why can't I learn that? And you know, it's we're here. We can learn it. Lucky, yeah, lucky you, man. And coding, yeah. like the, they, they yeah. teach coding in class too. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> and it's 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 good coding, most of it. We most it's of it. It, most of it's good coding, but um, I I took all the coding classes the first my my jun- my freshman and sophomore year. Now I'm a junior, and now I'm probably gonna graduate like more halfway through the year next year because I'm all caught up. So it's like it's pretty nuts. Because, I don't know, I, I think, I don't want to graduate early, but it's, I don't know. Well, well speaking of someone who, who, who's a man and has a has, has job, and what, what, what do you think? Should I graduate early and just start, like, getting a job before college, or should I, like, stay in school, get more, like, experience in school? What do you think? <clears throat> I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do in life. Honestly, yeah. uh, like, if I was about to graduate right now, and I was already good at coding, or, like, I mm-hmm. knew what I was doing. I would probably look into I would I would internships. Go, I wouldn't go to four year. I would probably look for not like a like a ten thousand uh, dollar coding boot camp, but maybe like mm-hmm. a cheaper version of a boot camp, mm-hmm. and then just try and like get a coding job out the gate because I like I have friends who who code and you know have jobs coding, and they're like, dude, everything I learned in college was all like theory and we didn't actually learn how to code like i had to teach mm-hmm. myself how to code out of class yeah. so at the end of the day like it was just a degree um i mean i'm not a coder or anything like that but they all say that like sure like if you're trying to get to upper management you mm-hmm. probably have to have a degree before a lot of the uh like startup companies they don't care they're just looking for the best yeah. coders or like the best people that's what my people. teacher's thing that's yeah. that um so because I, I wouldn't i wouldn't pay for a four year degree that's just me yeah no I, i'm yeah. not that's why I'm, I'm trying to um my my school or not even the school my uh my uh what 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 is it called i keep forgetting the skilled trade school um it it has you can get internships Okay. And we were, uh, we were going to have internships with different companies that we choose around the area. And kids last year who were seniors didn't even go to college. They just went straight to um, uh, jobs. Dude. Like, start, starting jobs. So that next Sign year. <laughs> and that's that's what um, I'm doing. Uh, we, we do right now. Because I'm like one of the, I'm some of the top five kids in the class. And oh, my yeah. teacher said he's saving, he's saving five things to work with either Spectrum, which is trash. Um, the old yeah. job, which is... Um, uh, which he used to work for, which he made money, money. Like, he moved back because his wife wanted to come back. Hey, it, it's crazy what he did, but um, he was making money. And he was like, hey, I can get you guys in contact and, and what I used to do. And he, our teacher has connections, which is which is really good. He's helping us because he knows how, because a lot of our, our class is like antisocial. And we, we don't really like, talked to a lot of kids outside of our classroom. He's like, all right, since he, he kind of, like, uh, modeled us, like, take, took us out of our shell, basically. Mm-hmm. And he, he's a great teacher. I, I think <clears throat> teachers should be, like, an open. But um, he, he he's helping us get into different colleges and writing writers, letters of recommendation and getting us a foot in the door with jobs. It's nuts. I, it's nuts. But I wish I that that's why everyone says my dad says I wish I had something like that today or like when he was younger. So when it comes to learning Python, like like what like where would you start? 
Uh, I would just say a basic like like I, I would say like Hello World, like getting getting basically okay, so like I'm past that part. All right, so well, how far are you? I'm just past that part. Like okay, <clears throat> like so I what I would do, code, I have the terminal. Um, I I know how to push and like pull from GitHub, but that's about it. I I think you what you should do is like um I think there's a, there's a YouTuber that that has Python teaching like they teach you how to code. So I would say look up um that that's what I did really. Um, I looked up a YouTuber. Uh, I I, I, I I'll, I'll link it to you. I forgot his name right sure. now. Yeah, do that. But um, I need that. Uh, he. he he just teach you how to code in Python. That, like I said, Python is the most expansive one to learn because everyone's using it. All so right. you, you can even like in GitHub or just forums, you can just me- like message people. Hey, how do you do this? My code's not working, and then you can link them your your code, right, and then right. they can try and set and it up did, and yeah. work with it themselves. And that's how you get like a like a group of people how you work with and how you meet people. So yeah. Okay. I think that's where you should you should start. Python definitely, but just look up YouTube. I can, I can't give you a definite answer because everyone right, learns right, differently. Because right, 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 right. I learned I learned very hands on. So like mine, I, I I I have to go back from the beginning because I haven't done it in a year. Because this this year for my computer class, it was not fully coding. It was networking really. So it was All like right. learning how to do um uh set up servers for computers, uh, IT fixing, computer management stuff and that this year but yeah, next yeah. year oh my god like uh, we're going back into coding and pulling my hair out and uh but i love it though i don't know why i love it it's so cool like what i could do in making stuff it's like well, well damn i could i could really just make a whole game by myself and that's what i did so i did that before for my all, all my classes ended up with um computer games at the end so that's kind of like i would say start off get like my you know the game snake like the snake, you, you can't run into yourself. Yeah, I made Pong. I made Pong. I made I made Snake as my first Python game, which I probably can email my teacher and see if I can get like a, a copy of that because I don't have it on this computer. No, that's but, cool. Um, there's, there's tons of tutorials for making like the game to have to check out. But uh, I'm I'm about to eat pretty soon, so if there's any questions, I haven't eaten today. Like, <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> what time is it? For? Oh wait, yeah, it's Whoa. 30, So, uh, <laughs> Epic, do you have anything? Uh, nah, I'm just kind of hungry. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Epic, you here? Yeah. Um, hey, Dervitz, you want to play eight ball? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. He's he's talking about um. There's like like not the text message eight ball, but like the actual app eight ball, which I don't understand. Like, oh, I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Just say no. Just say no. Just say no. <laughs> just just say no. Just say no. <laughs> just just let it happen and say no. Right. But uh, it's I will. Just say pool, but virtual. Um, I will send you uh all the Instagram stuff. Uh, it. What is my Instagram at right now? Uh, Zaire JWC. So if you get any Instagram DMs from them, that's all right. me. All right. All right. Well. Yep. All right. Well. Thank you for coming out to the podcast today. It's been pretty cool. That was actually really cool to Yeah, yeah dude. Thanks for having me. Uh gotta do these virgin meme raps now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I will be I'll be looking out for those. That'll be I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna do all the uh, ancient chants though. I'm gonna do it because like all I had right. like I had a dream and like it was just like a whole bunch of people chanting in my dream and I was just like, dude, let's make some chant like songs and put it out. Cause like there's like a whole people, a whole bunch of people in like a spiritual, like they're like, oh, like this spiritual movement, like all oh, awakening. So like I'm, I'm trying to tap into that crowd because there's not like a spiritual rapper, you know. What mm-hmm. I mean? so but like, well, well, there is like, like what do you mean, like like meme spiritual rapper, like 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 actual rapping of like crit, like like not Chris, just Christian stuff, but like rapping mm-hmm. like God and like so you know. like. All of them, though, like taking, all of them. Oh yeah, no, I've only heard one. I've only no, heard no, one. No, no, no. I'm Christian. saying like, like, like most people, like most rappers, they're just doing like Christian rap. I'm talking about like, yeah, every like, I'm talking about like Zeus and like, oh wow, Greek rap. Yeah, like Norse Zeus, mythology. Like Zoaster and like what the fuck is that? Zoaster, <laughs> Zoaster, like Zoo or Astrianism is like supposedly the oldest like Caucasian religion. I don't know. I gotta get my facts mm. on that. But, like, a lot of the stories from Zoroasterism are, like, exactly duplicated in Christianity. So, like, I want to... Oh, wow. Yeah. Just, I've, I've been reading up on quarantine, so I'm like, dude, 
just make something out of this with like cool beats and like the mantras and chants they used to use like thousands of years ago. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just just switching it up. But after I do that, I'm going meme version rap. <laughs> oh, that. See, and I, like I said, I will probably be bothering you if I, all the questions that I have to like start up, which I, I, I couldn't have, didn't have time to write everything down, but I'll, I'll just DM you and ask you about all this stuff because, yeah, you really, really did just say, if I, since I have no, 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 nothing to do, I'm probably just going to do that, which is, since I genuinely am bored now. Because yeah. I, I, I built, I built a, um, a drone yesterday. <laughs> I thought I broke it. I was like, "Oh no!" You but I, it from scratch. Well, yeah. Well, it came in a box. Oh, and then I just, okay, okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, dude, am I talking to Einstein right now? Like, dude, like, well, yeah, no. I code, I rap. <laughs> well, oh, another thing. Oh, Michael Reeves. All right, Michael Reeves is really funny, and he he he's a really big coder. Which I kind of got into him like uh, a few years ago now, and he's like a coder. He doesn't really show the code, but he um. He did, he like packed like twenty drones, like the facial recognition to dive bomb him Ooh. with camera. It was it was it was genuinely funny though. Michael Reeves, it's it's um he's a part of this group called Offline TV, which plays games and stuff. But he he's a he's a, he's a funny guy, which is uh, he's he's a part of memes. Not funny memes, but he, he's a memer. Not okay. funny memes. <laughs> yes, I mean some of his stuff's funny, but some of it's overused. No, but I love that group of people. But, oh, and yeah. before before I go, uh, I don't know if you guys are into this yet, but uh, the stocks, the, the stock market. Yes, right my now, dad, my dude, dad is still. They're they're like so low, so low, especially like oil, you should buy in like oil stocks and uh, resort stocks, like you know, like all the casino or not casinos, but like casino resorts in Vegas mm-hmm. and airline stocks are at an all time low. So uh, I don't know if you don't buy it now. I don't know what you're doing. Like I I'm gonna talk to my my dad. Um, <laughs> Look into does, that. Does stuff like that. You literally fly to Hawaii for like 150 dollars. Yeah. What I'm saying. That's that's, that's kind of that's nuts. It's ridiculous. Hopefully my birthday for <laughs> my birthday's in July. So hopefully we're in the cusp of like quarantines over. So like maybe June it, it like really ends. And then my birthday's July fifth, right? Hopefully I can like nick it in there so I can get there for, like really cheap and then just go to like some resort, hopefully. I mean I you know. can buy you can buy tickets right now for cheap and then change the date later. That is true. Yeah. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll have to talk to my parents about that because I, I don't know if they, they'll let me go to Hawaii. I don't know. Yeah, during, yeah, but, during these times. Yeah, <laughs> especially I have a weak immune system. Yeah, no, never mind, never mind. I'll, I'll, let, me, yeah, let me stay <laughs> let, me, let me stay in my house real quick. <laughs> never mind. Um, but yeah, that was that was actually really. I really did like that. Uh, I hopefully we you can come back. Like, I want I want to see you come back after you like. Just have another banger song, the virginity, the virginity stuff. Come back; uh, those will probably blow up because how you you put out a lot of music. So how how fast does it take? Like you said, one oh, take, ten minutes, ten minutes. Yeah. So you can probably get a whole EP out in like a day. Oh, dude! Yesterday I did like eleven Jeez. entire album in like less than a week. Yeah, I mean it's it's. It's not gonna be Sell great, that vinyl but... on doors. Uh, wait, what? Sell so, sell your music vinyl in stores. <laughs> yeah, I'd buy a fried chicken vinyl. <laughs> Bro, just just for the packaging, I would buy a fried chicken vinyl. You'd, you'd buy it for the packaging. Yeah. Uh, Man. yeah, that's that's an idea I haven't thought about. The that. album cover for fried chicken is absolutely wit. By shitty e. <laughs> 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 Oh man, yeah, that's uh, I mean, that's a whole nother story too. Like how the shitty thing came out. Like that was when I was playing football. Like there was like two weeks where I didn't wash my jersey, and like oh my god, they're like yo, <laughs> shitty E's in the building. Cause, like, nah, <laughs> yeah, football this, jerseys get to rank. This, I played hey, football. This is, oh this, my god, this is a real story. Like I was on the field, and like. <laughs> Some dude was about to tackle me, but he he like missed because I I smelled so bad. So like that's what. It Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so like literally, I put out that album. I didn't think it was gonna go anywhere. Like, okay, yeah, you you guys need this on the podcast. Okay, the shitty E album. I literally made that to just like throw it at my high school friends. Like, yo, I made an album about that one uh, situation. 
they all found it hilarious. But then I posted it, and people loved the music and <laughs> a whole bunch of uh, like scat fetishers started hitting me up and sending me donations. <laughs> no lie, no lie. Like they would literally be like, "Yo, are you making any more poop music?" Like. No, because they'll, like, listen to like, it. DMs they'll, of it? Like, they'll, they'll DMs of it? Like, they have DMs They'll listen to it while doing it. Like... What? Uh, yeah. With... I mean, as a <laughs> mean troll... <laughs> that <laughs> person I am. But, dude, they were sending me donations, like, through uh through Bandcamp. Like, they'll buy it, and then they'll send, like, extra money and be like, dude, I love this. I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like... And some of them would be like, yo, so, like, are you really into this? I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm just trolling. They're like, oh, we thought you were serious. Like, nah. <laughs> nah. You down, though? <laughs> like, nah, bro. But, like, hey, shouts out to you for being, you know, you. <laughs> you, you being you. But, like, I don't know. But, man, I did not. <laughs> dude, That's I did not nuts. see that coming, bro. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny as fuck. I... Oh, man. That's it, man? I think that's it. That's oh, all man. I got. Thank right. you. That that was nuts. I, I wow. <laughs> that was actually pretty fun. And thank you. Anything you want to plug before you go? Uh from here on out, I'm I'm posting everything under the moniker Deervitz. So it's D E R W I T Z. Um I was trying to actually change my Instagram to that, but like I guess somebody already took it or something happened to that account. But the young camel toe thing, like it'll, it'll probably be dying out. I mean, I'm still use it on Instagram and I'll still be like a moniker, but like I just realized that there's so many people for me trolling on SoundCloud and that's where the majority of my fan base is. Like I literally wouldn't be talking to you guys if it wasn't for the SoundCloud troll because all of that all of the songs that have blown up first blew up off of SoundCloud trolling. So sometime this weekend actually now you know what today i'm gonna upload every all the tracks on this on this uh laptop on that soundcloud it's their vids that have like eight thousand followers on it so i'm gonna upload everything um <clears throat> on this laptop and i need to get on my other laptop because i have one back in la um that I just stopped using but it has all the rest of my rap so there's like tons of stuff i never released but I, I'm just gonna put it all on that SoundCloud and just whatever happens happens, and uh, so yeah, enjoy. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, have to, I'm, I'm gonna peep all of it. All right, all right. Thank you for coming out, and uh, hope you enjoy your whatever. I assume lunch. What you? What are you? What are you gonna eat? What are you? Dude, I've been having be fried uh, chicken. fruit smoothies, man. I've been. Uh, I've, That's I've, not I've, lunch. What is nah, that? Nah, I've, been, I've been trying to cut out meat, like like lower the mm. meat consumption just to see like right just like. have a side of fried chicken you know you know what i mean so i've been i've been trying to no i'm not killing i'm not taking meat out but i'm just lowering it so i've been doing a uh, fruit smoothies and then i work out and then i come back and eat whatever so yeah mm. nice <laughs> all, right. all right well this has been derwitz the the comedian the the rap artist the huawei commercialist the associate for um, box water. <laughs> what has he been in? That's what I should. Use. What hasn't he been in? <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, right. I'm thinking of rap names. Uh, Chode Gobbler might be one of them. <laughs> right, well, thank you guys for tuning in the Sadie Monkeys podcast, and we'll see you next time.